What's up, guys, and welcome, Daily Theologians. Trump digital playing cards? What in the world? Are people buying these? Yes, yes, they did. And you're going to want to stick around and check this out because I have a few thoughts that I think will be helpful. So who would buy a Trump digital playing card? Well, apparently lots of people. Here's the official advertisement. Your favorite president of all time, better than Lincoln, better than Washington, with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Donald J. Trump NFT collection right here and right now. They're called Trump Digital Trading Cards. These cards feature some of the really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. You can collect your Trump digital cards, just like a baseball card or other collectibles. Here's one of the best parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win amazing prizes like dinner with me. I don't know if that's an amazing prize, but it's what we have. Or golf with you and a group of your friends at one of my beautiful golf courses, and they are beautiful. I'm also doing Zoom calls, a one-on-one -on -one meeting, autographing memorabilia, and so much more. We're doing a lot. My official Trump digital trading cards are $99, which doesn't sound like very much for what you're getting. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive community. It's my community. And I think it's something you're going to like and you're going to like it a lot. They also make perfect gifts. So you can buy them with your credit card or crypto. All you need is an email address. Go to collecttrumpcards.com. So a lot of people are wondering about the timing of this. Number one, it's not uncommon for presidents to have certain things, memorabilia, things they sell. But after announcing his candidacy for and then uh, the recent FTX issue, a lot of people are seeing this as perhaps unethical, even perhaps as the end of his candidacy before it even began, because they're saying, boy, you totally miss the point. And you're totally out of touch with reality. Um, I'm curious to know what people think about this. Uh, he did sell out all of the cards. I think there were 4,500 of them. And they sold for $99 a piece. And so he raised basically $4.5 million. But is this the end of his presidency? Is this the end of his political career? I, I think maybe it, it could be. And the reason for that is because... Uh, it just shows people that he doesn't really have a lot of discernment. People already think that he's very narcissistic and um, they're already saying DeSantis, you know? And so when you look at the card itself, it's got one with laser beams. I mean, it's very strange. Uh, some of the other ones are more normal, but um, he sold out all of them, raised four and a half million dollars or made four and a half million dollars on this thing it, very quickly. So it shows that people are interested uh, but does this show the character qualities of a leader that you want, a leader that you want to reelect, somebody that you trust to run the country again? I mean, I don't know. I think this seems like bad timing at the very, very least. And that's being generous. Jesus called to him and said to them, you know that those are considered rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. Whoever would be great among you. This is the key point, must be your servant. Whoever would be first among you must be a slave of all, for even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So the example for Jesus is what we should look to as Christians. Obviously, the Bible has a lot to say about bad leaders being a judgment from God. I think this could be the end for him uh, because people that were leaning and kind of unsure, I think this pushes DeSantis way ahead in, in many people's eyes. Let me know what you think. I think the core issue, though, political uh, rulers are important. I think it's a common grace way to help love our neighbors by trying to elect righteous rulers. So don't make the mistake of saying, well, don't even worry about it. We're not of this world. I think that's a huge mistake. It's very monastic. It's very um, isolationist and laissez-faire, which is not what we're called to do. We're called to be salt and light. And uh, that preserves and exposes. So maybe this pushes DeSantis ahead. Maybe you're not interested. I don't know. Let me know what you think below. The core issue is repenting and believing in the death, burial, and resurrection of the God-man, Jesus Christ, who lived a perfect sinless life in our place, paid an infinite hell that died and rose and is coming back. So take a moment. Think about that. And remember to hammer that like button. Like the 95 Theses. Thank you so much. And subscribe to the channel. God bless.